The world we're living in has seen many tragedies in many forms. Wars, killings, genocides, riots, and famines. The real evil lies within the architects of these inhuman practices. People who advocated crime to a level no one else could fathom. Their decision wreaked havoc on humanity, and all that comes with it. Today, we will take you through the lives and minds of the most evil people who have walked this earth. Let's get into it. Number 10. H. H. Holmes Herman Webster Mudgett, born in the year 1861, was better known by all as Dr. H. H. Holmes, who, as shocking as it may sound, was America's first known serial killer. He was highly intelligent and wanted to be a doctor since childhood, thus he used to perform different sorts of practices on animals. Holmes claimed to have killed at least 27 people, most of whom he'd lured into a purpose-built murder castle, complete with secret passageways, trap doors, and soundproof torture rooms. According to the Crime Museum, an intricate system of chutes and elevators enabled Holmes to transport his victims' bodies to the Chicago building's basement which was purposefully equipped with a dissecting table, stretching rack, and crematory. In the killer's own words, I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer. No more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Number 9. Kim Jong-il Kim Jong-il was the main leader of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, commonly referred to as North Korea, from 1994 to 2011. He became the heir apparent for the leadership of the country and assumed important posts in the army organization and in the party. Kim Jong-il exercised total control for 17 years over one of the world's most closed and repressive governments. He was responsible for the deaths of hundreds of thousands and perhaps millions of North Koreans through widespread preventable starvation, horrendous prisons and forced labor camps and public executions. Number 8. Heinrich Himmler Heinrich Himmler was a German dictator and a member of the Nazi party. He was one of the most evil and powerful men in Nazi Germany, and one of the people most directly responsible for the Holocaust. Himmler joined the Nazi party in 1925, and he was elected a deputy to the Reichstag in 1930. Himmler formed the Einsatzgruppen and built extermination camps. As overseer of the Nazi genocidal programs, Himmler directed the killing of some 6 million Jews between 200,000 and 500,000 Romani people and other victims. Number 7. Genghis Khan Genghis Khan was the founder and the great Khan of the Mongol Empire. The Mongol Empire became the largest contiguous empire in history after his death. Khan was very respected. He lowered taxes and got rid of taxes for teachers, doctors, and priests. But aside from state affairs, Khan eradicated, tortured, and killed anyone that came in his way. He was responsible for the deaths of as many as 40 million people. Scholars estimate that he may have killed a full three-fourths of modern-day Iran's population during his war with the Khwarezmid Empire. All told, the Mongols' attacks may have reduced the entire world population by as much as 11%. Number 6. Pol Pot Pol Pot was a political leader whose communist Khmer Rouge government led Cambodia from 1975 to 1979. During that time, an estimated 1.5 to 2 million Cambodians died of starvation, execution, disease, or overwork. One detention center, S21, was so notorious that only 7 of the roughly 20,000 people in prison there are known to have survived. The Khmer Rouge, in their attempt to socially engineer a classless communist society, took particular aim at intellectuals, city residents, ethnic Vietnamese, civil servants, and religious leaders. Some historians regard the Pol Pot regime as one of the most barbaric and murderous in recent history. Number 5. Mao Zedong Mao Zedong was a Chinese communist revolutionary and founding father of the People's Republic of China. His Marxist, Leninist theories, military strategies, and political policies are known as Maoism or Marxism, Leninism, Maoism. Both Hitler and Stalin were outdone by Mao Zedong. From 1958 to 1962, his Great Leap Forward policy led to the deaths of up to 45 million people, easily making it the biggest episode of mass murder ever recorded. Number 4. Vlad the Impaler Vlad the Impaler, also known as Vlad Dracula, is believed to be the inspiration for the character of Dracula. 
He was the cruel dictator of Wallachia. Surrounded by enemies all around, he used to resort to the cruelest measures in order to give birth to a feeling of terror and fear among the ones who dared to oppose him. His barbaric methods of punishing his enemies gained huge recognition in the 15th century Europe. One of them is the impaling of humans from the buttocks, and then he never orders it to stop until the pole used comes out of the human's mouth. There were a lot of other sickening brutalities that he used to inflict upon people. Number 3. Idi Amin Idi Amin was best known for being the president of the African nation Uganda, along with his brutal regime and oppression of humanity. He was a former military officer who is believed to have taken over control of Uganda with his evil schemes and plotting. He used absolutely crushing force to hold on to power. He used to oppress every human being whom he considered could be a possible threat, be it people belonging to ethnic groups, journalists, judges, intellectuals, and everyone who opposed his dictatorship. This ruthless dictator, despite being eventually exiled, not even expressed regret for the actions of his regime. Number 2. Joseph Stalin Joseph Stalin was a Georgian dictator and the leader of the Soviet Union from the 1920s until his death in 1953. He has retained popularity in Russia and Georgia as a victorious wartime leader who established the Soviet Union as a major world power. Stalin has been widely condemned for overseeing mass repressions, ethnic cleansing, hundreds of thousands of executions. In addition, Stalin used the food shortages strategically, making sure that certain areas were affected more than others. He badly welcomed many of the deaths, especially when it came to enemies of the state, kulaks and idlers, those who did not work on the collective farms. He quoted Lenin in saying that, He who does not work, neither shall he eat. Many consider the Great Famine nothing short of a genocide and blame Stalin directly. Though Stalin sent thousands of his own Soviet prisoners of war to their deaths, he turned a blind eye to how his soldiers performed on the battlefield. If they fought admirably, meaning if they won battles, Stalin did not bother himself with how they did it or the fallout after. After hearing reports that Soviet soldiers raped women in Germany and elsewhere, he is reported to have said, What is so awful in this having fun with a woman after such horrors? Number 1. Adolf Hitler Today the name Hitler is often used by people as a synonym of evil. He was one of the best known and reviled figures in the history of early modern world. He was the leader of Nazi Germany and was known for his wicked intelligence, creativity, and brutality. It is believed and is true that the organizer of World War II and the Holocaust was none other than this dictator. He used to consider the Jews living in Europe were an impure race. His brutality over humans at the very least led to the death of 40 million people. The crimes which were committed during the Holocaust included physical crimes. In Ukraine, an estimated 400,000 Jewish people were killed in Nazi concentration camps during the Holocaust. On average, per day, about 1,864 Jewish people died. Most of the people who were murdered during the Holocaust never received proper burials. Ukraine has over 750 mass graves where groups of five or more Jewish people were marched into mass pits and shot in the back. 5,000 Jews were marched from Ukraine into these pits. To save bullets, children would be thrown into pits of fire to be burned. The physical crimes which the Nazis committed also included, quote, criminal assault on guilty and deserving victims, end quote. And victims were beaten, drowned, whipped, shot, ran over, strangled, and gassed. These crimes included sexual crimes or crimes that were directed at women's genitalia. Another popular way the Nazis murdered people was to have them euthanized. The Nazi crimes also included genocide. He sure was one of the most powerful and evil beings in the world's history. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you guys enjoyed. Until next time.